guys. Um, hopefully the sound's good on this one. We uh, have come outdoors yet again. Um, it's a lovely day here in Perth. I think it's like 30 something, 36 or something, is it? Anyway, it's getting up there. It's nice. Um, we're up at Kings Park, which overlooks the Swan River and the city as well. Um, it's really beautiful here, but we wanted to share with you a couple of the things that we love about Perth and also maybe a couple of little secret tips for when you come to Perth. So, go. Perth is a really progressive city, so there's constantly something new being made that you can go and check out and experience, which is pretty great. There are a lot of murals for the people who like the arts, as I assume they would be on the school. So heaps of beautiful paintings in the streets everywhere. There is a free transport zone in Perth, so you can catch the bus or the train within two stops of the city limits, so it's all free public transport inside the city. I have never tried it, but at a cafe that I really love, there is a donut and chocolate bacon milkshake. It's $20, but it looks amazing. The river next to the base has dolphins in it. So you can go down in the early morning when you're hanging out with Jesus and you can see dolphins. Everywhere I've traveled to cannot compare to the sunsets here in Perth. Perth is super multicultural, so there's heaps of different restaurants to try representing foods from around the world. I've traveled to different cities of different sizes and Perth is big enough to get everything that you want but it's not, uh, it's not so big that it has all those other problems of massive cities. Birthplace of me. The birthplace of my wife, Emma. Perth has lots of beaches. Uh, I, even though it's like cold to these guys here, uh, as a Canadian or North American, you'll probably be fine to go every Sunday. I went right through till June. People thought we were nuts, but it's great. It's also the birthplace of my two sons. In Australia, we call McDonald's Maccas, and there's one of those about five, 10 minute walk from base. Across the road from the base, there's a stadium, and uh, bands play there all the time. And so you, if you stand in the oval, you get to hear the music. So the Pink Floyd, Foo Fighters, even Taylor Swift has performed there. There's a place called Harrison Island that's really close to base, like walking distance, and it's just filled with kangaroos. You can pat them and feed them. It is closer and cheaper to fly to Bali than it is to fly to Sydney. 